five minutes. Dirt Rock is here. It is time for the great one, the YouTube people chat. Oh, to do another raw reaction. Last night, we witnessed what may could have very well been one of the most emotional interviews we've ever seen. What is happening in 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 with the millions and the millions of J Rock fans from all over the world? That's right, baby. J Rock is here. Last night on Monday Night Raw, we saw what may have been one of the most emotional um, interviews that J Rock can remember ever seeing. I remember Mankind's interview or Mick Foley's interview as Mankind back on Raw back in the late 90s. It was really the interview that really, really connected Mick to the audience in the WWE universe and got a lot of people cheering for him going forward. I remember Triple H's interview, you know, after he had paid his penance for the whole, you know, curtain call with Scott Hall and Kevin Nash and Shawn Michaels, and he was finna be catapulted into the main, um, into the, to the forefront as Triple H the game. No longer DX, but he was going to be the game. Uh, I remember that interview. A lot of other interviews I can't think of off the top of my head that have been emotional. But when you think of an interview like this, for those of you who know the history of Bo Dallas, the brother of the late Wyndham Rotunda, better known as Wade Bray Wyatt, rest in peace, Wyndham Bray Wyatt, all right? I don't think we've ever seen an interview like this before, where we are literally sitting down with the brother who happened to also be a WWE superstar in a role that was, looked like it was growing with a very established, well-known character we all come to know and love as Bray Wyatt, a, you know, i.e. The Fiend. And last night, the Wyatt Six, well, you know, the the female in the Wyatt Six, which we all now know as Nikki Cross, um, delivered a box to Michael Cole. Shout out to Michael Cole. You know, he basically did almost a whole half of a show by himself. Uh, Got to get that man some help. Um, but he uh, got a videotape from her, and well. For those of you who saw, y'all saw what happened. So J Rock is gonna play the tape. He's not gonna, we're not gonna see the actual contents of it. He's just gonna hear the audio for copyright reason. Uh, but we're gonna take a listen to it. And you're gonna hear the pain in the voice of Bo Dallas. Bo Dallas was in NXT, former NXT champion, came to the main roster. He, he won the tag titles, um, if I'm not mistaken, as part of the Miz's entourage or whatever. Uh, but. Be that as it may, you, you know, Bo Dallas was, you know, he was kind of a a low card guy. You know, nobody really cared about who he was or whatever. When he got to the main roster, he tried to figure out his way, and eventually something something began to stick with his uncle How Howdy character, connecting him to Bray Wyatt. And seeing as how Bray is no longer with us, everybody is trying to keep him alive. And one of the best ways we know how to do that, well, is with his younger brother. What, um, Bo Dallas. So, let's check out the interview that happened between the alter ego of Bo Dallas, Uncle Howard. Nobody. There 
important thing in my life was taken away from me. Like nothing was ever gonna matter again. Don't you think you're exploiting your brother's legacy? All I ever wanted my whole life was to be like my brother. I looked up to him and I wanted to be him. My entire career, my life, so I could have the opportunity, so I could work there next to him. And we were gonna... We were gonna rule together. And we'd finally made it. We were there, and we had it. And then it was taken away from me. There is no one on this earth that feels more hurt than me from his loss. Not one person on earth feels what I feel. But what am I supposed to do? Let him become a mausoleum. Let everybody forget about what he stood for, what he fought for, what he believed in. It, it's like Bray is coming through him right now, for real. They you see Bray right now. They wanted to forget about me. They wanted to forget about all of us. We made them remember. We made them all remember. Yes, we did. The rock says this. Some of y'all may or may not remember what VHS tapes were. Uh, I want to say maybe about 10, 15 years ago, they really started to become obsolete. I still own some VHS tapes, but most people now, you know, use either DVDs, Blu-rays, or some digital format now. You have YouTube and all these digital formats where, you know, you have instant access to a lot of things. And so VHS tapes, you know, needed a VCR and you had to you know depending if you went over somebody's some old person's house the the time the time on it would always be flashing 12 because they, they didn't know how to set the timer on it but it was nothing like it is today I'll just put it to you that way all right most most tapes had um, a limit on how much you could you know like you know if you want to say like you know it had storage space, most like certain things are now, but some things had a two hour, four hour, or six hour. Some even had 12 hour time limit of how much stuff you could have on it. You can re record over things, but the, the, the image, the flickering, uh, the, the distortedness of what we were, what you saw, that's exactly how VHS, VHS tapes were, for the most part. Not all of them, but for the most part. Uh, and you know, if a tape got stuck, if the tape strip got stuck inside the VCR, oh, that, ooh, Lord have mercy. Woo, that was, you were just trying, it was your heart, you'd have to unscrew the doggone thing, 
and pull the top off and gently take the, the t man please that stuff was a headache but be that as it may the way they did this was brilliant they are, and, and as Bo was talking, I'm literally seeing Bray. Like the facial expressions, the mannerisms, you know, the, 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 the sense of, un, the, the sense of unease. Bray was coming through the screen. I know that's his brother, right? And it, clearly they're, they're gonna have some physical, some facial features that are very, very similar. But as he was talking, the rocking back and forth, the, the pulling up back of the hair and the, you know the you know that 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 was very bray like right and so shout out to bo dallas man bro you are you're not your brother you don't gotta be you don't have to be your brother but thank you for real because what you are taking and moving forward is something that the WWE needs and I can only imagine based on what Triple H was saying yesterday about how when the show moves to Netflix uh, so many things that are have to be censored you know because they're a part of FCC airwaves you ain't got to censor a lot of this stuff on there because it's a streaming service and the rules are completely different right Netflix is about to explode it's already making billions of dollars they about to explode once raw goes on there once raw hits on Netflix once raw hits Netflix they might hit trillions trillions because you gotta understand, all of the WWE content is going to be on there, with the exception, I think, of um, SmackDown and NXT. I think SmackDown is going to USA, NXT is going on. I can't remember the show, or the, the network, but man, Bo Dallas, the Wyatt Six. They are doing a hell of a job on this. Right now, they have their sights set on Chad Gable for some reason. You know. And it's only a matter of time before Chad Gable and the, um, the, uh, what's the, 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 the Jabroni brothers, uh, the Rudy Pooh brothers, or whatever. They're going to join up with Chad Gable, you know, and form their own new Alpha Academy, if you will. But be that as it may, man. Bo Dallas is, he is really bringing, he's keeping Bray with us, but at the same time doing it his way, where you you feel Bray, but you see Bo. You feel him, you, that makes sense? You, you feel Bray Wyatt, you feel him, but you seeing Bo. And that's crazy right there. So shout out to Bo Dallas, other members, of, shout out to WWE, the way you guys are, have shot this and got this thing going. Man, it's incredible, it's insane. Shout out to you guys. So. Y'all let me know your thoughts on this. Um, who y'all think the, the, the I, there's so many different directions they can go with this, like, what are they gonna do with um, Gunther, right? Who, who else are they gonna target? Like, are we gonna see a uh, Wyatt Six bloodline feud? Is, could that happen? With the female, what's the, 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 does the bloodline need to get a female character now? Like, what's going on? Like, so many different directions they can go with this. I just hope that they do it right, don't screw it up. And I think with Triple H at the helm, I think they'll do a, a damn good job of it. All right, Triple H ain't batting a thousand, but he's hitting, he's hitting more home runs than they've hit in a long time. All right, I'm gonna put it to you that way. Uh, but yeah, all right. Y'all let me know your thoughts, all right? Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what you thought of your reaction to this video. No rhyme and turn it on that line. If you enjoy J-Rock's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned for the next video. Mamba GG and Wakanda forever. It is man!
Let's say, rah, peace. Cookie.